The latest Sonar software offers several MIDI enhancements. These tools are all intuitive, quick, and powerful MIDI editing features. Let's take a look and check them out. Let's start by loading a MIDI file. There are many ways to do this. Often the most efficient is right from our media browser. Select a groove clip and by dragging it onto the track controls like this, it will automatically place it at the beginning. New in Sonar is MIDI time stretching. To do this, select the edge of a MIDI file and the cursor will change. If you don't see this icon, then try using it in Smart Tool mode. Also, check to see if your groove clip looping is deactivated. Next, hold control on your keyboard while clicking and dragging the file. The MIDI editing enhancement now allows you greater flexibility to conform your various tracks together, for example. You can compress the file or stretch it to a maximum of 400%. Keep in mind, if we activate our Snap to Grid feature here, the audio will stretch, snapping to whatever note value we have selected. Next, the Pattern Tool is a creative editing feature that will easily integrate into any workflow. Think of it as an updated copy and paste function, but with selective and modular features. You can access the new pattern mode under the Draw Tool drop-down here in our Tools module in our control bar, or typing T on your keyboard to call up the tools at our mouse location and select it from here. The Pattern Tool icon is a paint roller. With it, we can roll MIDI data onto our track. For example, with our Smart Tool, or selector, let's choose an area of our file. Use Snap to Grid if necessary. Now, select our Pattern Tool. Moving the Pattern Tool to the lower half of the track, our cursor changes to the Pattern Tool icon. Now click and drag in our track and a copy of the selected MIDI file can be painted, rolled onto the track that easily. Continuous rolling will repeat the selected pattern and rolling back will remove the potentially pasted notes. Once you release, the file is set. Here's a quick tip. You could use this feature to create and save some favorite MIDI clips by dragging them to a selected folder here in the media browser and renaming them for future use. You can build a stockpile of your favorite go-to MIDI clips. And speaking of the media browser, Sonar's new pattern tool can be utilized directly from a selected MIDI clip in the browser pane. If I choose a file and simply bring my cursor anywhere here in the bottom half of the MIDI track to show the Pattern Tool Roller, click, drag, and start painting that file onto the track directly, rolling data on and rolling data off till releasing the roller and the file is set. Finally, let's see the Pattern Tool in Sonar's new PRV. Double click the file header or select this corner clip icon for more options and choose Piano Roll. Sonar's new PRV has dynamically changed viewing capabilities. Zooming into MIDI data presents much larger and clearer MIDI notes for faster editing. Let's select some MIDI notes with the Selector tool. Next, switch to the Pattern tool. We can now roll paint a copy of that data anywhere following on the MIDI track. A new creative added feature now allows us to select a different root starting note from our original copy. By holding the shift key and painting, the data can begin on the new selected MIDI note we roll on. Take note of Sonar's new controller pane here below the PRV. If you don't see it, come up to Views and select it here. This active controller is set for velocities. If MIDI notes are overlapping, you can now see them as overlapping bars here of different color in the velocity controller. Just select the top of each bar to adjust them individually. Now with no MIDI notes selected currently, simply click and drag with your draw tool here in the velocity pane to draw in your velocity settings. Note how the above MIDI notes slightly change color to indicate the velocity strength lighter colors for less, and more bolder colors for more velocity. Let's create a new controller here in our controller pane. Click the Add symbol here next to the existing velocity controller. 
choose our MIDI event type to control, say volume for example, and here our new volume controller lane appears. One can click and drag with the draw tool here to create volume control parameters freely for example. Flexible, fast and creative. These new MIDI enhancements and editing features in Sonar are not only creative but progressive elements designed to keep your workflow moving. Check it out today in the new Sonar Artist, Professional and Platinum Series software by Cakewalk.